Sienna. I curse her. I curse her. Anyone standing by your candle sponsored from the pits of hell to blow it off that your light will go off this year. I decree they are eliminated. They will not perform that assignment. They will fail in that mission. They will not prosper in that activity. I stand between that me and that person. I stand in the name of Jesus on your behalf and I deliver your candle from their hands. Oh my God. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Holy Spirit. But have discipline without hunger. And then we will come back to this town. And then the glory of God will descend. I pray that because of your hunger, God will shift you into the right camp. Many of you are in wrong camps, wrong friends, wrong associates, wrong relationships. Uh, uh, because you, there's no hunger in you, in your heart. This is why I'm here, sir. I want that hunger back. That service is five o'clock. You are in church three o'clock. Thank you, Father. Three o'clock. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is your hunger for God that will make the difference in your life. Today we are churning out all kinds of people. In the choir, all kinds of people as ushers. I knew one church in Lagos then. Thank you, Father. If you are demon possessed and you 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 encounter one of the ushers, you begin to manifest. Just come into the church and you are carrying your demons. An usher will just stare at you and you're already manifesting. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that the grace of God upon Pastor Ben shall be distributed upon you. The fire he carries, you shall carry that fire. Don't be like this young man who was supposed to be a servant of Prophet Elisha. But he was minding other things. He wasn't properly connected to the prophet. In 2021, there will be a divine rearrangement. I said there will be a divine restoration of order. I can't hear your amen. Look at the way Gehazi ended up. As though he was not serving under a great prophet. As though he was not serving under a man that was doing all kinds of miracles. Even when he, the, the, the master gave him his staff, the staff could do nothing. The anointing couldn't flow. When he laid his hands upon the staff of the prophet, nothing worked. Why is it that what is working for the prophet is not working for you? Why is the staff of the prophet not working for you? Why is the grace of God upon the pastor not working for you? Because there's no hunger. You're only interested in his shoes. You're only interested in the clothes he wears. You are not interested in his secret life, in his prayer life, in his study life, in his passion for God, in his hunger for God. When you have hunger for God, tight is not a problem. You don't stay at 10%, you go beyond 10%. Am I talking to somebody here? But when a man does not have hunger, he doesn't need your food. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I see hunger in this place. Come on, I see hunger in this place. Thank you, Father. Somebody
somebody preaches for three hours, but he must pray for six hours just to preach for 30 minutes. He prays for six hours. Ladies and gentlemen, heaven is a responsibility. Are you hearing me, sir? Heaven is what? Heaven is what? It's a responsibility. Thank you, Father. I want you to be sold out to God. When we see men like Pastor Victor, who has spent 25 years in one church, developing himself, serving, seeking the face of God, discovering his purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know that 10 million people share your birthday? 10 million people share your birthday. For many of you, your birthday is important, more important than your purpose. Your birthday is not as important as discovering your purpose. Am I talking to somebody here? I pray that the Lord will help us. Oh, come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to see all those elderly people again. Doing those great things for God. Fasting and praying for the church. On their own. Going from house to house. Evangelizing. Thank you, Father. You know what I see, Pastor? Many young people now want to come into the church. And without going through anything, they want to hold the microphone. They want to collect the microphone from your hand. And if the microphone is not coming to them, they now go to another place to look for microphone. There are microphones that will kill you. If you are not matured for some microphones, the microphone will swallow you. Instead of amplifying your voice, it will kill your voice. Be careful what you are fighting for. Am I talking to somebody here? Don't rush to the altar when you have not gone to the secret place. Thank you, Father. Riko posataya. Kribo si trebe kamaha. Sheke praka sataya. I see world changers. I said, I see world changers. Listen to me, sir. People go to Lagos and go to Port Harcourt and go to wherever to receive revelation, to receive anointing and grace. Listen. There are some of you here. It is your turn to change the tide. That people are coming from Lagos to come to Sokoto. To learn ministry. Ah, yeah. How many of you know God is no respecter of persons? Oh, Jesus. Your trophy is commensurate to your price. Oh, Jesus. I say you are blessed. Okay, maybe this was not what you came to hear. I know this was not what you came to hear. You came to see miracle signs and wonders and prophecy, right? Right? But this is the question I ask myself. If Pastor Ben has to step out of this place, who will step in? Who will be here? That has received so much from him by the reason of hunger. Sir, in those days, we were so hungry. I, I, I remember those days in Christian fellowship. When, when my father, uh, um, 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 Bishop Christian Okeke will come to the office. Sir, we will run and begin to clean his shoes. And clean what? His shoes. We're cleaning his shoes. When he speaks, we'll be shaking. When you serve well, you will live well. When you serve well, you will live well. God will reward your service irrespective of the heart of your father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you begin to serve well, you begin to hear the voice of the enemy. Uh, be careful, oh. You are overdoing this thing, oh. 
I, I recall those days, sir. In Christian fellowship again, sorry. I'm bringing, you know, I, I, don't, I don't preach this way. But I want to share an experience. We used to have one, one pastor, Raphael uh, Ogujiofo. Yeah, I think that was his name. The way this brother danced. The Bible says, and David played before the Lord. Just like pastor was doing earlier on here. This man was praise and worship comes on. He will shout and dance and jump and everything. And we tell him, calm down. You are overdoing this thing. All the elders faded away. He's still alive and doing well. Thank you, Father. You will hear voices telling you you are overdoing this thing. But don't mind them. When blind Bartimaeus shouted, Thou son of David, have mercy. Didn't some people shot him? They said, Come on! Shut up! You are disturbing the master. Ladies and gentlemen, when you have hunger for God, you will always be different from others. Say amen. amen. Are you ready to be hungry for God? Huh? Are you ready to go back to the Bible again and study and study and study and study and study and study until you become a study? Until you become the house of revelation the house of testimonies somebody shout hallelujah you think you have seen things you haven't seen nothing yet there's more for you somebody say there's more for you oh come on say there's more for you stand up on your feet thank you father somebody help me tell your neighbor heaven is a responsibility you're not saying it well. Say heaven is a responsibility. Somebody shout hallelujah. Are you ready to become responsible? Are you ready to take responsibility? Huh? Come on, eh? Say amen. Driving all the way from Kaduna to this place. No food. Food for what? What food? My assignment is bigger than my pain. What food? Heaven must take responsibility for my life. They say they kidnap people from the road. I'm not that, I don't belong to that realm. I don't belong to the realm where a man like me can kidnap me. It's like I'm looking, it's like I'm talking over your head. Eh? Can hell kidnap heaven? You are quiet. Can, can hell bounce on heaven? Any day I am on the road, heaven is moving. And hell must clear. Say amen. I have never thought of kidnappers coming to the road when I'm on the road. I don't care what time it is. Because I have made the choice that heaven must speak over my life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Oh God, somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. Wave your hands and begin to pray in the spirit. Somebody just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. <laughs> oh Jesus, I give you praise. You will never forget your life. things to happen to you I prophesy 2021 will be a blow to them 2021 will be a body to them 2021 will be raw 